Fear of violent incidents inside the walls of Nebraska's state prison, some even deadly. We are now learning how prison officials are looking to spend your tax dollars to increase safety. Good evening, everyone. I'm Matthew Smith. Jessica Gale is off tonight. Well, first up, we hear from Nebraska lawmakers on how the proposed corrections budget could be paid for. That budget was released by Director Scott Frakes, and it will cost the state millions. Aaron, what changes is Frakes proposing, and how much will it cost? Well, Matt, the big changes include the hiring of 164 full-time employees, a $75 million construction project, and an additional $15.3 million in other spending. Brought in to fix the problem-ridden correction system in Nebraska, Director Scott Frakes released his first two-year budget, and it has a big price tag. The total general fund for fiscal year 18 is $4.8 million. And for fiscal year 19 is 15 million three hundred thousand dollars. So again, a substantial amount. Again, that's for additional funding. The overall budget to run corrections would grow from 207 million now to 223 million. A big part of that money improving the work environment and increasing pay for corrections employees. And several facilities would be adding staff over the next two years. On top of that, in Lincoln, Frakes wants to begin a $75 million project to combine the correction center to the Diagnostic and Evaluation Center. Two buildings, Frakes says, are in need of significant upgrades. This project addresses all of those issues and turns those two facilities into one large, correctly structured, fully functional prison that will service for many years into the future. But how to pay for all of this? State Senator Robert Hilkeman says there's not enough money to fix everything, but... We do have the rainy day fund that, we could, that, that will probably be utilized to meet some of this. And again, it's going to be a matter of prioritizing. Hilkeman places a high priority on fixing the prison system and commends Frakes for his transparency. We have to do our work on it as well. It's just not, oh, you want $100 million, let's just give it to them. I think we need to make sure that that uh, we studied this request further and we'll, be, we'll have hearings regarding this. And so I think that we have to do our due diligence now as well. Well, the budget request was submitted to the governor and, le and legislature. The Department of Correctional Service Special Investigative Committee will go over the needs at hearings over the next few months, Matt. All right, Aaron. Well, a key part of that budget, this $750 million, $75 million construction project, Aaron, how would they pay for all that? Yes, that's a big part of that, which is going to be a 32-bed skilled nursing facility called the Reception and Treatment Center. Now, we're actually working on to put this story together for this 630, so we'll have all that for everyone in just a few minutes. All right. Thanks, Aaron.